one. Hi, I'm Sue Wilson from Bottoms Up, and today I want to chat to you about how emotions you might might affect your gut. When we um, get under stress, when we feel sad, or when we feel angry, what happens is that our body goes straight to a thing called fight or flight. So what that means, it's quite a primitive response. So we're not maybe as evolved as we sometimes might like to think. Um, so when we go into a fight and flight response, our body is needing to get ready to either fight that tiger or run away from that tiger. So what it does then is it actually closes down your digestive and in fact reduces the blood flow to your brain as well. Uh, so if you can't speak rationally to an angry person, that might be why. So what happens in that fight and fight response is that we have to get lots more energy to your lungs, to your heart, to your blood supply so that you can fight that tiger or run away from that tiger. So what that leaves then is that your digestive system isn't operating as it would normally. Yeah, We don't need to be digesting food when we're trying to beat up a tiger. So what we want to do when we are feeling stressed and when we are feeling angry or even when we're feeling sad, maybe that's a time for you not to eat food for that day. Maybe you can give your digestive system a rest. It's really fine. You can last a long time without food. Make sure you keep up your water supply. If you are sitting down to eat a meal and you feel anxious, you feel um, frustrated from the day because of your kids not doing their chores or your boss not saying the right thing or your husband not unpacking the dishwasher or your wife not getting your clothes ready for you to wear for the day, maybe what you might like to do just for a couple of minutes before you eat is actually sit down in front of your food Maybe just take that time out, two or three minutes, and take some deep breaths into your stomach. Deepak Chopra actually talks about if you take seven deep breaths, that's enough to lower your cortisol rate, which is your stress hormone. So maybe all you might need to do is do seven deep breaths before you eat your meal. We know that our gut is so important in emotions. When we hear our language, we talk about every day. We talk about, I feel sick in the stomach about that. I feel sick to the guts about that. That doesn't feel right in my gut about that. Our whole language is about our emotions. If you notice, we say, I feel. Yes, yeah, so we know intuitively that our gut knows right. It knows right from wrong. What we've done over the years is that we forget to listen to that brain. We call it in our Bottoms Up Clinics our second brain. It is our primal brain and it knows what's going on in your world. It knows how to respond. We just need to listen to it. So the next time you're feeling very stressed, you're feeling very anxious, you're feeling very heightened, or maybe you can't do a poo and you can't do a poo that week, maybe look at not just the food that you've drank this week and the water you've hydrated, but look at what, how you've been feeling. Have you been feeling happy or have you been feeling stressed? Because if you've been feeling stressed, I imagine you've got a little tight ball going on there in your small intestine and large intestine. So your digestive system. So next time you want to, you can't work out how to do a poo, you look and you've been eating very well, you've been drinking lots of water, maybe think about your emotions. And remember, before you sit down to eat, take out five minutes and do some deep breathing. Thanks for spending some great time with me today and I so look forward to speaking to you soon.